So what I've got here, over here, is a, is a vacuum pump. I got this from Aerospace um, Composite Products. I think that's, yeah, Aerospace Composite Products. And I'm also going to use just some cheap air filters that you would buy for your furnace at home. You get these at Home Depot. You get four for like three bucks. And I found that this uh, inside mesh works pretty good as a breather cloth. So I take it out, cut it in half, and um, that's what I'll use. So basically what I do is I just take my mylar, fold it, and I cut my plastic. Now there's a lot of different ways to do this. This is the thing that I found to work best for me. And it comes out with some of the, uh, the least amount of um, um, leaks. I just use some duct tape. Go ahead and put the breather cloth in first. I'll fold this, and I usually make sure that this is on the part. Sometimes the breather cloth's hard to do if you don't put it in before you tape it. So I'm just going to make sure that that's touching the part. I can get this pretty straight. So they might piece the tape down, sticky side up. And then I'll lay the plastic so it's about halfway on the tape. And then I get it as smooth as possible against that tape. So I can get as little leaks as possible. Okay, and then the top layer, pull it straight. And then I'll just sandwich this open edge. Duct tape. Okay. So there we we'll probably have a pretty good seal. Like I said, there's lots of different ways to do this. I found that this is the best way for me. Now this pump comes with a little, uh, I don't know what you call it, filter, hose connector. This will tie the, the hose and the bag together. What I'll do is I'll put this right on the edge of the breather cloth. Put that through. Okay, now when I bought this pump, it came with these two little rods that make this pretty, which are pretty handy to close off the ends.
side down. Just attach this hose. Connect some power to it. Once you turn this on, I want to get this nice and smooth. I'm sucking that air out. like this not usually a big deal. The pill ply and everything usually makes it so it's okay. I do however want to make sure that everything is straight on this piece. If not you can just unplug your, your uh, vacuum pump and uh, straighten it out a little bit and do it again. You can already see here that breather cloth is starting to wick up some of that excess epoxy that we didn't need in our in our layup. Uh, one thing you got to make sure though is that the epoxy doesn't reach your your hose connector here. So we'll let this sit. This epoxy takes uh, it's usually tack free, and uh, in about 12 hours. Um, you'll want a full cure at about 24 and also I'll set it out in the sun. Um, the carbon fiber makes it real hot and uh, once it reaches about 144 degrees it turns into um, it's its, to its harvest point or to the glassing point. So we'll see you back when it's finished. So it's been about 24, 26 hours since, uh, since the last saw you and we started vacuum bagging this, uh, this piece here. Um, one thing I do want you to notice is that the uh, resin was wicked up by our breather cloth like we wanted. And if you remember, I told you to watch this to make sure that your, your um, hose line here didn't soak up any of the resin. Got a little close, so I went ahead and taped it and moved it. Um, while we were waiting, I also did another piece. Of, uh, this is uh, something that's popular that a lot of people do. Is they use a piece of glass to to wet out a solid sheet of carbon fiber. Uh, one of the problems that I had with this is I didn't give it a lot of time because this is non-structural. So it didn't soak up all the resin real, real great. Uh, but basically all I did is take a piece of glass, put some paste wax over it, did my layup, put some pill ply, and then a couple of sheets of, of um, it's just a paper towel on there. And we'll see if we can get that off. Look how easy that comes off. And it gives you a pretty nice shiny, I don't know if you can see that, almost that mirrored look. And what a lot of guys will do is they'll take a, um, some clear coat or something, spray it on there, sand it down, spray it again, and it gives it a real nice kyber, or fiber, carbon fiber look. Okay, so let's take this piece out. It's real easy, you just take off these end clamps here. And then I'm done with this bag, and I'll just create a new one the next time I do a layup. So I'm going to cut it off. The uh, resin doesn't really stick to the uh, to the bag, so that's good. Let's pull this out. You can see how that's come. This part I'll just rip off. And then we've got our pill ply here. See if I can find the pill play end. So 
Sometimes this part's a little difficult to do. I'll grab a box cutter sometimes and just find a little spot where I can get into on the peel ply. Once you get this started, it comes right off. You can find a good spot. This might be it right here. There we go. So, since I found the end, I need to start off on it. This peel ply comes off really pretty easy. using a box cutter just be careful not to cut yourself and you can see there how easy that comes off okay so after we get all the pill ply off you'll have a nice structure underneath and I won't bore you with the details of or the rest of me pulling this off um, the next thing we'll do is we'll cut off the ends and uh, I'll show you how to melt out the uh, the plug or the foam on the inside. So stay